Good afternoon, and thank you for those of you who've made it here after lunch. Uh, it is a difficult time in the afternoon, and people indeed do get tired after lunch. So I hope uh, I'll give you some interesting information, and uh, I would take all your questions in the break. My name is Ia Whiteley. I'm a space psychologist. I work with astronauts and cosmonauts. I design training for them and also develop technology to support them in future long duration missions to the Moon and Mars. And today I wanted to share a technology that we are developing for long duration missions to the Moon, which is, allows us to monitor fatigue in astronauts when they will be operating far away from Earth, but doing critical operations. And this technology has been sponsored by a European Space Agency and UK Space Agency. I also work for University um, College London in the UK um, and also a director of Wombat, which is developing this technology for application here on Earth. The European Space Agency, when they develop technology for exploration, for mining um, and also uh, operation in other planets, they wanted this technology to be applied on Earth. Because the they, when they spend money for other applications, they want them to be applied here on Earth. So there is a dual benefit for space application and for benefit of people on Earth. So this technology, although originally developed for exploration missions to the Moon and Mars, we are now applying them specifically for mining industry. This technology is looking for specific application on Earth because mining is very similar to, um, to operations on how astronauts operate. They operate in very uh, dangerous, um, and safety critical environment. They are operating at different times of the day. They have to be remotely uh, and accurately monitored throughout the operation so they don't make mistakes. And voice analysis, its unique uh, property is that people can do their regular work and while they speak we are able to um, separate their voice into several parameters by computer analysis and machine learning and understand how that individual gets tired throughout the day. Voice is produced by a muscle, and muscle uh, in your voice inevitably gets tired from the morning till the night as you progress through your work, or if you start in the night and finish in the morning, we're able to tell how tired you get. And uh, the technology allows us to seamlessly monitor the individual in any environment as long as they talk throughout their work or at certain periods of time. So we are now using, we have started already trials in several mines quite successfully and we can see the trends of every individual driver on how tired they are. But our most interesting finding is when the drivers switch from day shift to night shift. And we can see how, um, how their fatigue elevates as soon as they have to change their 12-hour uh, wake cycle to be completely reversed to what they were operating before. And uh, our voice analysis started with um, cosmonauts and astronauts in a training environment. We were monitoring them uh, under strict conditions and able to see how they perform. We were doing cognitive tests, memory tests, attention tests, reaction tests, and the one thing that is very obvious in fatigue is that the people are unable to take instructions and follow instructions. So the short-term memory of people who are tired is uh, decreasing rapidly. And if you tell a driver that you must, uh, for example, follow this route, or there is a landslide, or there is dangerous road conditions, or there is something on route, um, and if they're very tired, they will actually not retain the information and will unable to follow the instructions. And the level uh, of fatigue increases to such a degree that after 17 hours of being awake, if people go to drive, it is equivalent of them having um, 
unauthorized sort of level of alcohol, which they're not allowed to drive on the road. So it's equivalent of being under influence of alcohol and being very tired. So it's very dangerous. And in our studies with um, astronauts, uh, we were watching them for 520 days when we were simulating the mission to Mars. Because this is how long it will take to get to Mars and come back, and for a period of staying about three to six months on Mars. And we were able to trace very well on how their mood level changed and also how their fatigue level changed, depending on their activity. What we're able to do now with this technology is that we're able to test people whether they're fit to start. We, b we build individual history of every particular driver through our uh, init initial stage, and we learn how to tailor it to that individual driver. So we are able to track that individual, not in comparison to the rest of the group, or how that person deals with fatigue. And we saw we have um, uh, several um, mind minds participating, and management is able to see and track quite well how their drivers are doing, whether they're resting well and whether they're arriving to work fit. And in fact, after having lunch, are they able to go back to work, um, whether they're enough, alert enough to be able to operate heavy machinery. Um, and the idea for this voice analysis technology is to prevent fatigue accidents, because we are not waiting for a moment when the person is closing their eyes or too tired to drive. We're able to tell before they start shift on how much longer they're able to operate depending on that individual capacity. We are using a, an application, a phone application, which um, the, every driver can install on their own phone, and in fact they did. Um, and we're able, able to use um, any tablet device as well. But what's important for us, and that's we find it's very exciting, because whatever we do um, now on Earth using this technology in the mining industry, as technology will advance, we will use this advancement in future technologies in space as well. So whatever the miners and the management does with this technology here on Earth, it will benefit future missions on the Moon and Mars. So my contact details are at the bottom, should you have any questions. And um, in the break, I'll be able to take questions. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much.